I just want to kind of talk about the uh, what they so-called China bomb tires. Um, so here's mine. I got the Castle Rock. Now I still got really good tread. Everything's good. I have had zero issues with these tires. Problem is they have a reputation for just blowing up. Um, I've done a lot of research on these guys, and because um, I didn't want to buy new tires, but some people say, "Oh yeah." On the way home from the dealership, I've blown them. And then other people, like me, have had zero issues. But the problem is, I'm going on, it's 2,000 miles round trip. And 650 bucks to replace all four tires is a lot cheaper than the thousands that it's gonna potentially cause and damage from when one of these guys blows. I got probably, I'd say five or 6,000 miles on these tires. Um, I've gone, um, to Florida twice, to Charleston, South Carolina. I mean, I've put some mileage on these guys. I've never had any issues at all. Um, but it's time to change them. I don't want to risk it anymore. It's a lot cheaper to replace them than it is to uh, fix the camper. So pretty much, like I said, um, you know, it's a lot cheaper just to replace them than it is to repair the camper. Um, it's a very good possibility because I haven't had any issues at all yet that I probably wouldn't have issues, but that's a big risk to take. So these are the Castle Rock. I'm actually going with, and I did a lot of research on, I was trying to find like, what is the best tire to get? Um, and it all came down to two uh, in particular on trailer tires. And that was the uh, Goodyear Endurance um, and the Carlisle. Um, so looking at them, I was trying to do research, in, you know, for both of them, and it came down to a lot of people. And for the price, they saw no difference in, in um, quality between the two. So it came down to the price of of the uh, Carlisle being being the winner here. Um, It doesn't save me a whole lot, just a couple hundred bucks. I wasn't too worried about that. I was just looking for what's the best, what's the, um, the best quality wise and when they were both pretty dang close to the similar, then I'm gonna go with the cheapest on that side. Where I'm going, I can't take my trailer there to do it. So I got, I can only do two uh, tires at a time. Um, so I'm actually just doing one axle at a time and putting them up on jack stands. That way the camper can't fall either direction. If I were to do both on this side or both on that side, whatever, it at least has, you know, a set of wheels on the ground. Have y'all had any blowouts on the road? If so, how much did it, and, and damage-wise, how much did it do? Um, do you think it's worth getting the tires and hoping that you don't have a blowout? I know you can still have one. <laughs> I guess you're just kind of looking at, hopefully it doesn't happen. Some people always say it's a matter of, it's not a matter of, of if it'll happen. Some people say it's a matter of, of when it'll happen. Um, Luckily, I haven't had that issue. Yes, I'm getting the Carlisle tires. They're 650 bucks. Um, I went with 10 ply. Eight ply was on the uh, original tires here. Again, there's nothing wrong with them that I can tell. Uh, could it already be separating on the inside? Possibly. Um, I, I, you know, I kind of look at when I was going through all the threads and doing all my research on the tires. It still came down to a lot of like when people would ask them. Yeah, but did you do maintenance on the tire? Did you make sure the proper um, inflation was there? <laughs> like, mine are supposed to be 60. I mean, if you run them at 50, because well, you're not looking or checking and they're 45 or 50, you're gonna gain a lot of heat in that sidewall. Um, so that's gonna cause issues. Um, a lot of, that was a lot of what people were saying well, no, I never looked at that until I got new tires because it blew out. I never really paid attention to the, the PSI. Do I need to check it or anything? 
I mean, really, you shouldn't be buying a camper if you don't know how to do the proper maintenance on it. I did risk, because I, I do all the work on everything myself all the time. And so I took the risk of, I'm gonna see how long I can go with these tires. Uh, but since I'm going on another long trip, I've already done like three long trips. I just don't wanna risk it, it's not worth it. Like I said, these tires are still really good. I'm actually gonna tell uh, the place I'm going, I wanna keep two of the tires, or all four of them, and that way when I go on the trip, if I do have a blowout, I can put my spare on, and then I'm out of a spare, right? Well, I'm gonna bring the tires with me and then I can go somewhere on the road and say, hey, can you mount and balance this tire for me so I have another spare? Um, I think that's the smartest thing to do. I mean, take a look at these tires. I mean, the tread is still nice and deep. I mean, it's almost sad to get rid of them <laughs> and you feel like you're wasting a lot of money doing this. But, I mean, I just found there, there's nothing wrong here with these things. That's why I wanna keep them as spares. And I'll probably get some some rims for them to mount them. But I'm gonna load these guys up and take these down to the shop so I can get two tires changed out. Come back, put them on, and then do the other two. All right, just got back with the new wheels. So, I mean, these things actually look pretty good. It's definitely like a, uh, I say like a highway tread. Load range E, whereas uh, they were low range D on the other ones. 75 mile an hour tire there and 81 mile per hour here. Uh, still, I wouldn't go over 65. <laughs> uh, I do catch myself doing over that sometimes, but um, regardless, max PSI, cold PSI is 80. It was 60 on them guys. Can I show you the old ones? Again, there was nothing wrong with them, but I feel better now. Um, here's the inside. I mean, I went through them and looked, and I mean, they're all, they're good. Hopefully, these are a lot cooler than these. Uh, these do get warmer on the sidewall. All right, guys, well, I put the two back on, the two new ones that I got. Um, I still got the other two to do. I take them tomorrow. I'll drop them off after work. Um, but, I mean, what do you think? I think they look pretty good. That's the old ones. New ones. <laughs> I mean, I guess for a peace of mind, I like them. I think they're going to hold up really well. 10 ply, 8 ply. I don't know about you, but I feel safer when I have a better tire. Guys, if you would, like, share, and subscribe, and I gotta get to doing these other two tires. We'll see ya.